in terms of engaging with with Karl Marx in a meaningful way for this project, um, my my tendency um, was of course to engage with his ideas, but mostly to engage with the way in which he expresses his ideas, because with any philosopher, there's um, you know there are the um, tenets that they put forth, but then there's also the um, the pattern or the process which which with which they communicate um, those ideas. And so, um, reading some of Marx's texts, um, he has a very um, unique way of communicating ideas that are often like his his default voice. This is in my reading, at least, um, is very very realist. You know, and this is what sets Marx apart from his predecessors, from Hegel and Fichte and so on. Um, He's, he's a realist, he's a pragmatist, he likes to look at documentary evidence and then like develop a philosophy out of the, the evidence at hand rather than out of some kind of ideal um, hypothesis. Um, and so he works through this material very methodically, sometimes even in quite a dry fashion, you know, truly like an economist. Um, but then there'll be these sudden bursts where he'll um, dramatise an individual and almost like ventriloquize them as a kind of um, puppet or protagonist in his argument. Often this person is either the proletariat, the worker, or is the capitalist, um, you know, the factory owner or so on. Um, and the way that he kind of um, like insufflates these characters is really vivid and quite a, um, a striking turn that they just kind of blossom up out of this um, very methodical kind of A to B to C style of writing. And this sort of struck me as an interesting idea for um, a form and an approach to music. Um, so in the spirit of, of Marx's um, sort of intentness on dealing with, with evidence and with concrete material, um, I wanted this piece to be an examination of musical labour. So not so much a composition that existed to um, showcase my ideas as a composer um, and that would then call upon the labour of musical performers to realise that um, or to produce that, to reproduce that. Um, I wanted this piece to kind of um, be a chance for musical performers, in other words the musicians of BCMG, um, to comment on and reflect on the nature of their own labour. Um, so most of the sound material um, in both the live performance and the installation um, is built out of recordings that the musicians have made um, from their own um, private practice, essentially, um, which involves, you know, one-on-one -on -one time in the studio, rehearsing, also um, group performance, um, some little snippets of conversation. Um, and... And then these have all been um, sort of sliced up into almost data points, um, tiny uh, two second clips that give kind of a sonic flash um, without, um, without being, without necessarily like inviting you to um, come into the world. It's really just like a postcard um, of a moment in time. And then um, piecing together all these little postcards sort of try to create a tapestry of like a week in the life of, um, of a working musician and what the quality and what the experience of that work might be like.